The Joe McDonough Cup is shaping up to be a cracking competition. Hurling's second tier contains six developing counties committed to taking the next step. The competition bears relevance for the Liam McCarthy Cup too, as it offers a chance for teams to progress to the knockout stages as well as promotion to next year's provincial championships. The only issue is the coverage. Games aren't televised, the Sunday game doesn't even read out the results and it becomes a stick used to counter arguments for a tiered football tournament, sure look how ignored the weaker counties in hurling are, following all the Joe McDonough and Christie ring games on Twitter all afternoon. Can't be the only one. Surely worth TV coverage. At airsport at ga underscore bo at official ga, Adrian O'Sullivan, at Sully Limerick 1, June 2, 2018 A highlights program of Joe McDonough, Christy Ring, Nikki Rackard and Lori Mar games would be very welcome. Root don't confine football coverage to just top 10 teams so why do they do it in hurling? One of our leading papers. These teams deserve more. Pick.twitter.com slash pmvdk4 kidge Brian Carroll, at Brian Carroll 13, May 7, 2018 Fresh from a disappointing result in the league final, Westmeath responded emphatically in the championship and are clear at the top of the table with 8 points. They played out a thriller in Tech Music Park today winning on a scoreline of 2-19 to 1-20. to Joe McDonough Cup Round 4 What a win, this is what hurling is all about. A fantastic performance from all. Great stuff lads, full dash time at Westmeath underscore ga 2 to 19 at Aon Trim ga 1 to 20. It's just a shame the majority of the country are not afforded a chance to marvel at their ability. Yet today, Westmeath GAA decided to go something for hurling fans who couldn't be in Mullinger and live-streamed the game on Facebook. In the past figures like Buffy again have also shown scores from Joe McDonough Games, streaming the scores from Kerry vs. Carlo on social media, it shouldn't be necessary, but credit should be forthcoming for the county for taking it upon themselves to broadcast the game. Gaelic Games is the national sport and sports fans have an insatiable appetite for them. There is no doubt an extended highlights package program would be popular and there are several broadcasters enthusiastic to cover it. The GAA will persist with this new module of increased games but they cannot continue with a television's rights deal negotiated before the change in format. Peter O'Halloran was Meet Vice Chairman for five years before he was elected chairman last year. Meath will be disappointed with their league performance but the county is taking necessary measures to improve hurling. They've established a separate hurling chairman and head of development to ensure it is probably catered for and restructure their senior championship. When speaking to Balls.ie earlier this year, his one concern was the lack of coverage. Everyone knows the 8 or 10 stronger counties and the rest are somewhat ignored. When we were in 2B we wouldn't even have had our results read out. That can't be good for younger players, young lads that want to wear the green hurling jersey of Meath. There are counties doing everything in their power to progress and develop the game, they deserve more than neglect. See also, Hurling's Next Frontier. Those involved on another new dawn for developing counties see also, paltry coverage of big games shows the Sunday game isn't doing justice to Gaelic football.